Are we here? Are we here? Hello? Hello? <gasps> Hello? <gasps> Good morning! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How is everybody today? Uh, ooh, okay, I just got, I got coffee. Um, let's turn on the lights. Oh, so bright. <laughs> um, so I spent yesterday um, adding some uh, alerts. So, um, for new uh, new subscribers and for new um, new channel subscribers, uh, new member donors, um, super chats, those will give uh, alerts on the screens now. And also uh, your chats, the like new chats will come up in the corner. Um, so for if you're watching this on a TV, which a lot of my viewers do. Uh, you'll be able to see the chat on the TV without having to uh, try to bring up the chat box. Um, and I know like sometimes when I watch uh, streams on YouTube, uh, sometimes I bring up my phone on the side and um, and like chat through the phone while I'm watching on YouTube. I do that quite a bit. Um, but uh, it is kind of nice to see uh, the chat on the screen. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to try that. Um, if, uh, if you guys think it's too much, I'm, I'm sure you guys will give me feedback. You're pretty good at, uh, giving like really solid, like constructive advice and things like that. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, I think let's get into, let's get into the games. Um, So let's do this and start the game up here. There we go. That should be coming up. Yeah, okay. Let's move me over. Good, 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 good. I don't think I'm covering up the game too much. Should be fine. Should be fine. Okay. All right. Last we left off, I think we were we had sent some Vultis out to do a mission. Um, hopefully they're there. Um, I would <laughs> kind of plan on checking up on this, and then I, I didn't, but it'll probably be fine. babies. Hey, there was two ladies that were pregnant. How did she get up here? Carol is so sneaky. All right. Um, I will, I'm going to name these ones. I haven't named any babies yet. Um, I'm going to call this one. Emily is a pretty good name. Um, we will call her I'll call her Betty after my Animal Crossing pocket name. Uh, okay. Welcome Betty into the world. And, oh. Mr. Daniel. Um. I like Daniel. I think we're going to keep that. Okay. All right. 
Yeah, it seems like some people are, why is he up here? He should be down here. Weird. We're just checking on all of our, where all of our people are. Okay, so we've got two people out in the wild. Oh no, fire in the depot. Um, hi, can you, oh, no, click. Go help over here. <laughs> uh, Carol. better stuff. Um, I don't have a better restaurant attire. <laughs> All right, uh, Marilyn can go back to work. And we can put For now, um, I think we can put. Uh, we have a lot of people in the restaurant now. Um, let's see, who's like who's mediocre on stats that we can maybe put in in power. Uh, actually, Carol could go up there. Let's send let's send Carol up here. in something to increase strength. Make these military fatigues. Oh, I hear the stranger. Oh, oh, I saw him, but I didn't get to click on him in time. <laughs> He's so quick. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marilyn looks like she would probably actually be good in the restaurant. Um, who else could we maybe move out of the restaurant? Um. Oh, definitely Ashley. Let's put Ashley in leather armor and move them up here into here. And then Marilyn, you get a handyman jumpsuit. Uh, you get a uh, weapon, and you go to the restaurant. Okay. Do, 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 do. All righty. Uh, let's check on people in the outside. I think we can start doing missions. Um, oh, do we have a, uh, hey, we unlocked the weapon workshop. That's cool. Okay, let's, let's build that. Um, let's 
go down another level. So we're gonna need a stair or elevator. And then we'll put the armory like right next to it. All right, weapon workshop. Yes, building right there, perfect. Amazing. Uh, it's time to start crafting, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that means we can use like the junk that we've been collecting, that's cool. Okay, here are some recipes and junk, uh, to make out of junk, uh, an outfit you can try to get through. Uh, many other items can be found, only crafted when choosing crafting. Okay, uh, cool. All right, pipe rifle Ooh. and BOS uniform. Sure, awesome. Okay, who is good for crafting? We have to put somebody down here. Three people in water. Uh, let's move somebody from the restaurant. Yeah. Who has the lowest agility? Uh, Stella. Stella, you're going to be the crafter. Powerful Shammy, good morning! <laughs> Hassad, good morning! <laughs> Actually, it's good evening for you two, right? <laughs> hello, hello! Look at, look at, our chats show up on the screen now, and um, I, I enabled some, like, default alerts, <laughs> so, so um, for, we get, like, new subscribers and memberships and stuff, those will show up on screen now, too. <laughs> good evening, good evening. <laughs> yeah, I spent a little bit of time... Uh, yesterday like uh working on working on the stream a little bit i hear the stranger i keep missing him okay well All right, all right. I, got, I think he's probably gone now. <laughs> okay, uh, let's check on our people. And I don't think, okay, these guys are ready to go on their mission. So yeah, let's do, let's do that. Do mission now. Um, I put up a, I put up a video yesterday there. Um, Nintendo did an announcement on, um, the uh they they do like the um the indie world announcements every now and again and i made one <laughs> and um i put it uh let me here i'll link it if you guys want to watch it no pressure of course but um 
I, I tried my hand at doing like, uh, I tried doing a React video for the first time. Um, and so that's the link to the new video. But um, yeah, it was kind of fun. Um, I haven't actually done like in, like any React stuff. Um, and so I thought I would, I would start making these because I, I love when those like indie world things drop because uh, there's so many like cool indie games that come out for Switch. And um, like uh, it's before Switch, like indie games on Nintendo were like kind of not really a thing. Uh, but I think it's really cool that they, like, co totally leaned into that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the Overseer's office um, on the last stream. Um, yeah, and I just built the, um, I just built the armory also. So we'll be able to craft weapons now. We're, we're moving, we're moving along. We're making progress. <laughs> now we're on a mission to rescue Paula Plumpkin. Oh, I'll go over before we go up. Was looting yeah uh have you encountered mole rats not yet no <laughs> hopefully hopefully we have everybody pretty well armed before mole rats happen <laughs> We got ghouls. Um, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't click on him fast enough. <laughs> Oh, do I not have stem packs? Oh shit, I'm out of stem packs. Oh, this is not looking good at all. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's okay, we have caps. <laughs> oh, Carl, why do I keep killing you? <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Let's uh let's revive. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is an absolute F. Um Oh wait, can I can I give these guys stem packs? I think I need to How do we get out of this? Let's give up. We can come back. Uh any loot you found on the quest? Well we didn't finish the quest or really get that far on it, so that's probably fine. Um, we're gonna have to give these guys stim packs and then go back out. Um, let's recall them so we can we can gear them back up. We might want to put a third person with them too. Okay, we'll see these guys in twenty two minutes. Um, we had new babies when I first like opened the game, and I I named them. And, um, so yeah, we're up to 22 people now. And then we got an armory. So I think, oh yeah, we can, we can definitely craft some of these pipe pistols. What else do we got in here? Okay. 
Let's do this one. This one's a six to eight. And then I guess we can only do like probably one at a time. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take two hours. Okay. <laughs> the um the Nintendo announcement yesterday had a um they had a like a um I think it was like a top down um like Ninja Turtles game that looked really cool. Um, and then there was, um, I, I didn't even know. I thought that this game was like still in development, but, um, the, uh, build a merge medical facility. Um, okay. Yeah. It's probably a good, good time to do that. Um, we had, a there was, um, the, oh, I forget the name of the game already, but, um, uh, video game donkeys company big mode so they made like a brand new game studio um like right it, it happened like he announced it like right before um asmongold announced their game studio for mad mushroom or i guess they're not really game studios but like publishing studios um okay have good eats um and uh the the game that they just finished is like it, it has like a uh the game that big mode like finishes has like a crt like pixel art art style it looks really cool um and uh they um it was on like the announcement yesterday and i was really surprised to see it because i didn't know that that game was that game was finished um, and so, yeah, it's, uh, or, well, maybe it's not finished, but I think, like, the announcements were, some games were ready that you could buy now, and some games were, like, coming out, like, pretty quickly. But, yeah, so it was, uh, it was, there was some, there was some good stuff in there. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think we need 400 caps to do, uh, to extend Med Bay. 500. What we should probably do, um, once we merge the rooms, it gets harder to like upgrade, I guess like, cause you have to upgrade all of them when they're merged. Um, this might take longer though. Uh, if we add, we add a room and or like upgrade I was thinking about this um, offline <laughs> but I was thinking like if you upgrade a room and then add one onto it then you can like upgrade one at a time instead of having to like if you build three then you have to upgrade three this is like more expensive I guess or not maybe not more expensive but it's makes I guess it is kind of it's more money at, like at once You do build three, then upgrade. I think it's like will cost like a thousand dollars. I mean, this one's a thousand to like upgrade anyway. Let's see. I think we're gonna need more power too. Actually, we're fine on that. Uh, let's look at what our objectives are right now. Uh, we can get rid of this scrap one. <laughs> Sell eight pieces of junk. That is kind of doable-ish. Uh, win six battles on quest and collect 12 weapons. Okay. I think those are achievable for today. Alright, 
I'm gonna rush a room so we can get some caps from it. This one will be fine, probably. Could probably rush this one too. Try it again. All right. <laughs> Crush your fingers. <laughs> Aw. Will we get experience? <laughs> Um, I want to do that one. It's, we don't really, we don't need to rush the, I guess we can, I don't know if we should wait. Um, so. Let's just hang out. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, our revivees are coming back in 14 minutes. <laughs> I only gave them four stem packs, and, like, I, that was kind of a gamble because we were moving up, like, you know, on difficulty probably on the quest, and so I was like, oh, I'll just give them four, but I think we should have given them, like, more, so we'll start, we'll start sending them out a little bit better equipped. <laughs> I kind of want to send one of these two out with them, but uh, we've also been getting attacked by a lot of, like, we've also been getting, like, a lot of raider attacks, and so I feel like, like, as soon as I send these guys out again on a mission, they're going to get <laughs> attacked by raiders again. Um, so, I don't know. <gasps> the stranger. He's here again. There you are. Yeah. It's fine. I'll get stronger dweller soon. I hope so. Yeah, so far, um, I haven't pulled any of the, like, special ones in the lunch boxes. And, um... And then yesterday, we had Lucy, and she had, like, a lot of luck. And I... Like, I don't know what happened to her. She's just gone. Uh, yeah, I was, like, searching, like, because we were, um, uh, Shammy was saying that we should, uh, we should send her out on the missions because she has good luck so she could find good loot or send her into the waste. Um, and she's like not even on the list anymore and i'm like i was positive that we had her she was the f one of the like first people that she's the mother of carl's baby <laughs> and, like i don't know i don't know what happened to her she's not even on the list anymore so yeah uh lucy mysteriously left us i don't know what happened Mm, this coffee's so good. I got um I got a subscription to um to this company called Trade uh like several months ago now and they send um they send a bag of like specialty coffee to me um about once a month and um the coffees that they send are so good and you can like it's a really cool company. You can like choose the, the flavor like profiles of coffee that you want and what kind of coffee you want. So um, after trying things out, I apparently prefer medium roasts 
and more like I guess like classic coffee flavors. Um, I tried some of the light roasts when um, when I first got the subscription uh, and thinking that like oh like light roast would be good to drink as like um, like pour over or drink black and um, and they they are but also like the the light roasts like tend to have um, I don't know like they can kind of have some weird flavors in them and I discovered that I didn't actually like a lot of uh, different kinds of flavors in my coffee I just like I just like coffee flavor <laughs> um, which was like I I didn't realize it would be like that um but yeah I ended up getting like the the medium roast and then I discovered that uh, through my my uh, journey of trying different stuff uh, different coffee varieties with this company that uh, that I think the best coffee beans in my opinion uh, definitely come from like Latin America or like like South America um, those like uh, those coffees are I think in, they are they are superior among coffees in the world um, I, I think it's it's probably partly like the grow but also like how they're processed because in different regions they are processed differently and um, those produce like the really good flavors um, we tried some other ones that were like the the more like bold flavors um they tended like sometimes they tasted like uh what the flavor that i would describe as like vegetable <laughs> like and it's the flavors are like subtle but uh they were like i don't know i i didn't really like it because i i think um Maybe because I do like to have my coffee with, like, creamer. Um, but, yeah, like, everything... Like, uh, we got one um, that uh, that was from, like... I think it was from, like... Uh, was it Ecuador? Um, and then there was, like, ones that were, like... I think from Peru and stuff. Like, all of those have been so good. Uh, so, yeah, I, I kind of, like, started looking for that, like... Uh, where where's the coffee from as as being like oh i'll probably like this <laughs> um, and that's been working out really well is it medium roast is it from latin countries yes please <laughs> i will i want to drink it <laughs> the third strongest coffee called Barocco coffee is that like strong like as in it has a lot of caffeine or is it like strong like uh like a like bold like flavor upstairs and fight fires. Oh, jeez. Oh, you go out of here. Go back. Go back. Um, it has a lot of caffeine and flavor at the same time. Oh, nice. There's, um, there's one that we can get here. It's actually, like, a, a pretty cheap, like, price-wise coffee, um, that we can get in the grocery stores that is, um, it has a, it has, like, a chicory root in it. It's really interesting, like, flavor-wise, um, but, uh, like, caffeine-wise, it's, like, Pow. Um, but I would get it sometimes to make Vietnamese coffees. I used to have a one of those little like, um, it's not really a gadget, but it's like the, it's the little metal thing that sits over the cup and you put coffee in it and then, um, you pour the hot water like directly into it and it really, it like slowly drips through. Um, after a while it, it started like 
getting rusty, so I ended up throwing it out. I haven't replaced it. Um, uh, Vietnamese coffees are really good once in a while, but they're very strong. <laughs> they're like, uh, they, if you, if you are really tired, that's a, that is a good option. Uh, <laughs> but I, I like usually do, um, I usually do pour overs now. I got a pour over set for my son for Christmas and, um, that has been like my favorite way to do coffee. Um, I, we have like a pretty nice, I would say like coffee machine. Like I, um, like a couple of years ago kind of bought like one that was like an automatic like drip coffee machine that had a lot of bells and whistles on it. Um, and, uh, I, I thought that machine was really cool, but the, uh, the coffee that comes out of the, uh, this like <laughs> really inexpensive, like pour over kit is like, it's so good and it's kind of um i don't know i kind of like the ritual of standing there and pouring the hot water over the coffee and then you like you gotta pour it and like swirl it around a little bit and then and then wait and then pour a little bit more and then wait and it's this like whole little thing um and uh, i get a lot of i get a, a lot of good thinking done at the beginning of my day doing that <laughs> Okay, what were we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna build on the med bay. Uh, let's do that right now. Clunk. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba. Mine too. You like filtered coffee? Yeah. Um, I think like espresso is pretty good. I, I used to be a barista, um, like <laughs> over a decade ago. Um, and, uh, so I still, uh, I still do like home barista kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, I, I don't have like an actual espresso maker. So the, the coffee pot, the drip coffee pot that I have will do like a concentrated coffee. And it's, it's pretty similar to espresso, and so I can, like, I can use that to, like, make a latte. But I think I want to get, like, something like an AeroPress um, that is, like, kind of espresso-like. But, like, buying a full espresso machine, even one that, like, there, there are some that, um, that you can get that are like not electric and the they're a little bit uh they're a little bit cheaper like uh like the electric ones are they they're like i want to say they start at like five hundred dollars they they get really expensive very quickly and i'm like oh, i just don't really like think i need all of that uh, i'll just like go to a coffee shop and order <laughs> like i don't know i don't really want to commit and then if you get an espresso maker like you kind of need to get a grinder at that point because um that just gets into a whole nother level of like coffee enthusiast <laughs> like um i think right like i don't actually have a grinder um i get away with ordering just like my coffee pre-ground but i know like the the thing like the best the best thing to do to like enjoy it is to like grind the beans right before you make the coffee um, but I feel like getting a grinder and all of that is, is a pretty, this is a pretty big commitment. Um, and, uh, but like having like an espresso set up at home is like, it's a, that's quite a bit. <laughs> that's, that is a, that's serious. That's a serious interest. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would like to get like, cause I've been looking at grinders, um, like, some of them, I, there are, like, some pretty decent ones for drip coffee that are only around $100. But I think, like, I, I kind of would like to get maybe a hand grinder because I just don't really... When I wake up, like, there are certain noises that I don't really want to hear ever. And, like, especially first thing in the morning, like, I don't really want to hear an electric coffee grinder when I first wake up. I just don't want to. Um, 
I like to ease into my day quietly <laughs> um, and like certain like high pitched kind of noises uh, like really kind of bother me. And uh, so I just don't really think that I would like listening at all to like an electric grinder. Um, I've been looking at like the like hand grinders which are also still like really expensive like <laughs> they're like 100 150 bucks for like a decent one um and then like i've been watching i watched so many reviews on coffee equipment and that i don't own it's it's ridiculous <laughs> but uh yeah to just get like because like the cheap ones apparently don't grind the coffee evenly because i've seen like coffee grinders like you get them on amazon for like 20 dollars but i'm like but do they grind the coffee good? Because <laughs> that would defeat the purpose. <laughs> um, and uh, so I, I've had my eye in a few different models. There's like a ton of different brands that make them. Um, but it's still like around like 150 bucks for like kind of an entry level like that. Um, I guess it's one of those things though that once you buy it, since it's not electric and it's just for home, like, you would be, you would be, uh, like, basically, you'd have that, like, coffee grinder forever. Like, once you got it, it would be like that scene in Fight Club. He's like, well, no matter what, like, I got, I got that couch. Like, uh, that part of my life is, is a done deal. Like, it's, <laughs> I don't have to worry about it ever again. <laughs> but, like, um, so that would be it. Like, no matter what, like, we got a coffee grinder. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Ma'am? Can we get you to go take care of these bugs? Oh. Carl! Carl, you can take care of them! <laughs> what good timing. Well, you didn't help with these bugs at all. Uh, okay, cool. I knew! <laughs> he totally did, right? He ran and like hid in the closet. <laughs> my day off <laughs> I'm tired I just died again <laughs> listen I'm not dealing with your stinking bugs <laughs> Okay, um, I guess we should send these guys back out. Um, should we send a third person with them? Like, literally, as soon as I do that, we're going to get raiders. Um, maybe we can send, uh, send Bruce here. Bruce looks pretty strong. Um, let's maybe do that. have plenty of energy. Outfit run. Um, we can use, probably use some of the Nuka Colas. I have like three of, or like 23 of them, I think. So we'll send them out like a little quicker. Okay. I'm going to send these guys out with like eight stem packs. They probably don't need as many of these, but We'll send them out, like, better equipped this time. Um, so we're going to send Billy. Uh, Bruce is going this time. And Carl. And we're going to start now. Confirm. Ba -da -ba. Look at him go. <laughs>
Alright. We're gonna do better this time. Hope they don't die. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Shoot, shoot, shoot. So far, so good. Going up to the room that we died in. But we're not gonna die this time. I need you guys to feel like, think positive thoughts, okay? <laughs> Alright, here we go. There's literally nobody in this room this time, you guys. <laughs> we are winning! <laughs> winning, winning. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Where'd he go? Shoot the ghouls. Billy, I'm gonna need you to stay alive. All right, we got one down, three to go. Qu Carl, <laughs> what in the hell? Billy, stop dying. You're wasting all of the stem packs. ish good good all right <laughs> I have to really watch Bruce closely in this next room okay <laughs> I'm like I'm like a nervous <laughs> um, <laughs> all right good thoughts good thoughts okay oh so many ghouls Okay. All right. <laughs> Almost. Carl, shoot him. <laughs> All right. One down, one down. Doing good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey, we got another Nuka Cola. Okay. Probably fine ish. Uh, let's, uh, let's do that. All right. Everything's fine in here. Going up. Okay. Here we go. Bugs. Bugs are no problem. They shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I 
Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Probably fine. Just gotta watch Bruce in this next room. <clears throat> we got ghouls. I don't like ghouls. Okay, let's make it bigger. There we go. Two down, going, going good. <laughs> Carl, you're looking great. I'm gonna need you to help more. <laughs> oh. oh no, here we need to get him one of these. More ghouls. Oh my gosh, are we seriously out of stem packs again? Oh, how do we go through all of those so fast? Welcome back! I'm about to die again. <laughs> Man, I really, really hope that there's stem packs in this closet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, there's still two of us. We can still, we can still salvage this. Oh, what the heck? Can Carl not be revived mid-mission? No. Oh, this is really a, a bummer. Why is this so hard? Uh, okay. I guess we just keep going as far as we can. Can't revive until the mission is over. Oh, <laughs> Bruce. Or no, that's not Bruce. Who's that? <laughs> the other guy. <laughs> uh. Sh shoot it with your gun. <laughs> this is not going well. Uh, raiders that raided me decided to be generous and left, uh, a two, why is that? A tuned plasma pistol after they died. That sounds really good. Oh, oh, is Bruce going to finish this mission by himself? <laughs> Okay, we got a stim pack. Bruce is at half health. Um, we gotta keep going. Uh, yeah, the one of the one of the good thing about the raiders this time around, like playing this game, is like they have actually, uh, uh, they they've dropped off like a lot of really good weapons while perishing in our vault. <laughs> Um, you have 80 Vault Dwellers now. Nice. Yeah, I figured, like, we would play this game until, um, well, like, I guess try to play it until we got a Vault of 100. I don't know how that's gonna, how long that's gonna take, though. But, uh, but we'll try, we'll try. 
so far we haven't had anything like super catastrophic happen um so that's been good um i think we're about to uh maybe maybe lose our lose our hero bruce here but let's uh let's be positive <gasps> wait <laughs> are you the rescue squad i sure hope so uh yeah baby i'm the rescue squad <laughs> I have a goatee. <laughs> uh, I think they were saving us all for a snack. Yes. <laughs> uh, one lady, Paula Plumpkin, managed to escape. She's very, she's my new hero. <laughs> uh, did Paula say where she was going? I think she mentioned visiting some vault. Vault 333? That's a lot of threes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't mind the other two. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we won't mention them. <laughs> what happened in the other rooms stays in the other rooms. <laughs> All right. Baseball bat. We got more Nuka Colas. Uh, gosh, our objective is done. Do we even bother with this other room? Because uh, we don't. We still have. We only have one stem pack. And we don't know what's in this other room. There could be three goals in there. I don't know. But there could also be maybe something worth looting in there. What do you guys think? Do you think we should go into the next room? Or do you think we should just complete the mission? It's a risk. Because we could die in here and then have to do the whole thing over again. I know, right? <laughs> I really, really hate doing these and not, like, going into every single room. <laughs> so, there's a part of me that's like, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I do it. I think, I don't know, because we have, like, you can go and quickly abort. Can we leave the room once we get in there and we're fighting stuff? Is that a possibility? I mean, we've also, we all we already got the rescue Paula Plumpkin. Um, all right, I'm clicking. We're going. We're going, we're going. It's just some bugs. There's nothing in here. I'm gonna leave. Bruce, just just go over here. Or how do I get out? <laughs> uh here, let's just like can we just return to vault? Okay. Alright, good call. That was a good call. Uh revive these guys oh we don't have enough caps to revive them <gasps> what what do we do can we oh my gosh i hope we can revive them later i don't want to lose them oh that is such a bummer um what We can't lose Carl. He's been with us from the beginning. What do I do? What? Uh, wait, can I just like... How do I... Oh, okay. Okay, we've got to raise some caps. Okay. Oh my gosh, that just like made me feel so panicky for a moment. I was like, I don't want to lose those like, <laughs> lose those dwellers. Uh, whew. <laughs> uh, where are you? We need caps. There you are. Yeah, <laughs> that's so perfect. <laughs> All right. 
Everybody, <laughs> come home <laughs> right now. Yeah. Collect all the things. Sturdy battle armor. That's that's fun. Okay. I got a bug infestation. That Carl's definitely not gonna help with. Let's grab this. Awesome. Okay. Whoa, look at all the caps we have now. We're doing good. We're doing really good. Okay, I feel like, um, So let's, uh, let's, um, let's make our med bay. Let's add one more on there. And now we've got like plenty of those going. Yeah. So I think <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to send them out with like, more a lot more stem packs like next mission um because yeah <laughs> they, uh, they really blew through like the eight that we, we sent them on the eight and they were like <laughs> going, like through them like on by the second floor it was ridiculous <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, we can rush the studio? Oh no, that's an upgrade. Um, all right, what should we do now? Oh, let's go through. Let's make sure that these guys are in the best things that they can be in, I guess. Uh, so we have combat armor. That's probably good. We got another lab coat. Yeah, so nothing better for those guys. This is 67. Oh, wow. This is a 5 to 15 for this baseball bat? What in the heck? Scott Allen, you are now a baseball player. Uh, Mr. John Stewart. Maximum is 25 stem packs and brads when you go out on a mission. Okay. All right. That's a goal. We're going to like work up to being able to do that. So they're like fully stocked. Um, so he's got a currently a seven. I know that laser pistol would probably be better than the shotgun. I don't know. That's probably fine. Okay, okay. Um, let's see, let's go down here. She can be in a lab coat now. I think, I don't know. Well, that lab coat might not be better. No, it's a plus three. Like, that librarian outfit is actually better than a lab coat. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. Uh... Oops. No, we can stay where you're at. Uh, let's look at these guys in here. Let's give you this guy. You haven't found a baseball bat or a knife? Oh. <laughs> Wait, did, was it was it you or yeah? You said you have eighty people and no, really. Oh, I lost my place on what I was doing. Um, Sixty-seven. That's fine. 
Um, five, that's fine. What is this? 67, good, good. What's everybody in here? Um, you would close the enhanced perception? No. There's 6 to 8 on your gun. That's probably as good as you're going to get. What do you got? 4 to 6. That's fine. What about you? 4 to 6. That's good. <gasps> the stranger. Missed him again. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I didn't know I could send Mr. Handy to the wasteland. I think, um, was it you or Shammy that was saying he's really expensive to revive, though? I guess if we could revive him later, that's not like a huge problem. Um, that might be good for like collecting, collecting junk. Two to three, upgrade you to this four to five. Um, four to five, it's fine. Alright, looks like everybody down here has, what's this, two to four, we'll give you this three to four, uh, what do you got, so two, you can have this two to four, um, you there, two to four, that's, that's good, uh, what about you, oh, <laughs> we got bugs. But not for long. All right, you there in those snazzy jammies. You don't even have a weapon, <laughs> so we'll give you this. Okay. Everyone is packing heat except for the children. <laughs> I think we're, I think we're doing pretty good. Um, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's rush this room. Yeah. Rush this one too. Oh. Or not. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's okay. They get experience. <laughs> Gotta have experience too. Um. What to do next? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, I guess we can send these guys out on another mission. Um, let's check actually what their, uh, what were their weapons? So he's got a seven. That's probably as good as we're going to get. I saw your quest. If you craft, craft a weapon, you get a lunchbox. Yeah, um, that's going to be done in a little while. Um, it's going to, it's going to take like quite a while for that to be done. It's like an hour and 45 minutes. We could use a Nuka Cola to like speed that up. We have 24 of them. Um, I guess that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. We can use this, uh, as I think this weapon is pretty good. Um, so we can craft, uh, yeah, we need like six more, but yeah, then we get that. That would, I'm, I'm every time I see one of those, I'm like, oh, I'm hoping that we get like a, like a strong like dweller from it. Um, uh, Sivy, hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. I'm hoping, hope I say your name right. Oh, you were hoping one? <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> it's six. <laughs> it's okay. We can equip um, one of the guys that we're sending out on the quest um, with that weapon, because that's a that is an improvement. So we'll give uh, we'll give Bruce the better weapon that we just made. Oh, what happened here? Uh, Hisoth, I don't know why your message was retracted, but it's probably the auto mod thing that got it. I have like all caps turned off because it makes uh, it makes me feel like I'm getting yelled at for all caps. So if that was what it was, um, and then I have like links turned off too. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, is it bad that I never heard of this game before? Oh no, that's not bad at all. There's plenty of games that I've never heard of. <laughs> I I discover new ones all the time that have been out for years. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, when I was doing the uh, the reaction um, for yesterday's like the Nintendo like Indie World announcement, there was a, a game in there that was on. It's like it was like the third of it of this of its like series and i had never uh i had never heard of the series before like at all i was like oh i guess i need to maybe need to do that <laughs> uh so yeah we just made this enhanced sawed off shotgun so we'll give this to bruce so that'll make them better when they go out oh you deleted it yourself okay all right, I feel kind of bad sometimes when like uh like auto mod like gets people, but <laughs> but uh it uh the auto mod features on YouTube are like really nice. Um, the uh they definitely keep uh keep the chat like running nice and smoothly. I think. <laughs> ah, okay, I see. Just correcting a typo. Well, that's nice. Uh, that I didn't know that you could delete a message after you posted it. Um, that's good to know for when I make typos when I'm typing in other people's channels. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, so we just raided Bruce's weapon, so let's check and see what Billy had. Billy had like a seven. That's uh, probably pretty good. Looks, weapons that are sevens and eights. Let's see what our 
Waterman Carl has here. Carl has like a 9 to 11 enhanced shotgun, so he's like he's got like the best gun in the vault at the point at this point. Um this game looks like a like a 2D farming sims short. Uh yeah, it is kind of like that, right? It's like post-apocalyptic farming sim. <laughs> it's like that's what I would describe it. <laughs> Yeah, this game, um, so I am playing a version that is on Steam. It is free. Um, you can also get it on, like, mobile devices as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was free. Like, it does, uh, it does kind of, like, encourage you to buy things that might, like, speed it up. But, uh, I, I don't actually do that. I, um... I found like it, it kind of plays pretty nicely without without needing to buy any extra stuff, um, and it and it runs. Uh, this this came out in twenty fifteen, and so um, and and also because it was a mobile game, so it's an older game and a mobile game, so it will run probably very smoothly on like a lot of a lot of computers. Um, you won't you won't need like a whole bunch of hardware to make this one happen. Um, if you're interested in playing yourself, I will let me see if I can get a link for Steam. Um, oh, hold on a minute. We have to find this the stranger. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I think we already missed him. Okay. Whenever we hear that sound, there's like this mystery man that pops up. And if we click on him, he gives us caps. And the caps are the currency <clears throat> of the game. We got raiders. Uh, Mr. Billy, let's wait in this room for raiders. Carl, come on up. Where's, where's Bruce at? Bruce is here chilling. so good this time they only got into the first two rooms awesome okay so we just got raider so we should be we should be good to go and do another mission now right <laughs> yeah it's uh steam epic ios and android yeah yeah, it's on everything. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, yeah, but they uploaded the game for mobile devices first and the PC uh, come out and follow the phone. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, a uh, like mobile only, right? When it first launched. Um, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I, I first played it on a tablet. Um, I did not, uh, I actually did not realize that it was, um, it was on a uh, PC at all. I thought it was like purely mobile. Um, and I was looking at, um, I opened up steam, like 
it was like last week, like before I started doing the live streams with this VTube model. Um, and th this VTube model I just put together like last week. Um, so it is, it is brand new. Um, the, uh, I was looking at Steam and there was an ad for uh, like all the Fallout games. So like all of the Fallout games are on sale. Um, and so it was like, you know, like build your Fallout collection kind of thing. And, uh, and I was like, oh, wow, cool. Um, I think I have, like, all of them. But I noticed that this one was um, was on there. And I was like, oh, I forgot about this game. And I was like, this would actually be a really fun game. Because this is a... This game's pretty casual, in my opinion. Um, when I think of cozy games, I don't really think of necessarily the... Uh, latte girl aesthetic i guess where everything's brown and uh <laughs> and we're we're in like a, a room filled with plushies and pink and uh you know like i mean i kind of kind of ish think of that but also i think of um primarily i think of like games that i could play all day if i wasn't working and that don't actually make me feel stressed at all. So um, if I've paired it with a pair of pajama pants and a cup of coffee, do I feel relaxed playing it? Um, and do I feel like, does it make me feel really chill? And if the, the answer is yes, then I think it is a cozy game. Um, that is my, that is my opinion on that. <laughs> um, I think like, TikTok made this whole like cozy game aesthetic and I see it a lot like on Instagram too like uh where it's kind of like uh it's more about what your desk setup looks like than the games that you're playing and it's like it's kind of uh it's it's an interesting thing that like that came up uh it, like I feel like since we since we got TikTok the whole like I, I never really thought about like maybe aesthetic aesthetics like that. Um, I guess like maybe gamer aesthetics in general had like a lot of RGB stuff and uh, I certainly have my fair share of RGB things <laughs> like at my desk and in in this room. Um, uh, I I am a fan. <laughs> I'm an RGB enjoyer, <laughs> but. Uh, but I think, like, when it comes to, like, the actual games, like, I, I don't really think that they need to be necessarily, like, games like Animal Crossing to be cozy. Um, I think, uh, like, I don't know. I, I think one of the things that I say a lot is, like, every game can be cozy <laughs> with, like, the right pajamas and a warm cup of coffee. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I was, like, I saw this and I was, like, oh, man, this would be, like, such a chill, like, game to stream because... It does have like times where you're kind of like waiting on stuff. And um, and so I feel like that that like lets me interact with chat a lot. And when I'm uh, when I'm streaming a game, I don't really want to stream a game that like fully demands my attention because I can't like concentrate on it. And it makes it really hard to talk to everybody if I have to like constantly be like giving the game attention um if it's like if it's too demanding like that it's not it doesn't really i don't i don't think it makes a good like game to stream um but yeah like that's one of the things is like i want i do want to be able to like read the chat and respond to the chat because i want like the the otherwise i would just play the game and make a video of it um if I, if it was like that, if it's like really demanding like that, or I might just like play it on my own without making content on it at all. Um, I have like, I've played a lot of Honkai Star Rail and I love that game, but I have like not made, I, I've only made, I think like two videos on Honkai and, um, but I will sit and like play Honkai for hours and hours and just get totally immersed in it. And, um, but it's like kind of one of those like games where I'm like, uh, I don't know if I really want to like stream it because it it does like kind of demand a lot of attention. Um, and I, like I'm I'm like getting I'm trying to read a lot of stuff in the story and get immersed. Like I feel like I would get so distracted that I would neglect chat. <laughs> I don't want to neglect chat. <laughs> um, yes, it's chill while I play another game like Stardew Valley or watch stream. Yeah, yeah. 
I think Stardew Valley is another really good one. Um, that's a very good, like, classic koozie game. I love the pixel art um, in that game. It, I started um, trying to make pixel art because of that game because I, I really like the style of that. And so some of the, some of the, like, the first things that I drew were um, kind of rep rep reminiscent, <laughs> reminiscent of those... Uh, the the like that um i don't know what you call it um it's like the it's kind of a 2d art style the way that the the perspective is your lucy found a dweller in the wasteland i wish i knew where ours went <laughs> our lucy was apparently not very lucky and she just up and yeeted herself out of the vault i guess i don't know what happened Uh, okay. All right. Let's work on something else. Oh, before we, uh, before we start in on, um, a new, a new mission, um, I want to take a moment to, uh, tell you guys here, let's, uh, let's do a, a little, uh, I, I'm trying to do one of these like per stream. So I'm going to try to do this right now. Um, we have, a. Uh, uh, let's see. Let me get my my stuff up here. Okay. Um, we have some channel merch. Um, so I just want to like do like a little like uh, plug <laughs> for for channel things. So um, the the best thing that you can do to uh, to help the channel right now is to subscribe. Um, and subscribing is free. Um, subscribing really helps me, um, get to my goal and the current goal right now is a thousand. We're over halfway there. Um, and then also we have like a few monetary ways of supporting the channel. Um, nobody has to, has to support this way, but these things are here if you choose to do so. Um, and you have the funds to do so. So, um, no spending rent money <laughs> on anybody online. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. We have some channel merch. I have t-shirts and stickers and some crew neck sweatshirts. Uh, I will be adding some more to this um, at some point, but uh, right now we just have these like the channel logo stuff. And also uh, we have, um, we have new emotes and we have sub badges. And uh, so if you want to be a channel member, uh, memberships, if you want to be a member nators, start, or they are, well, it's not a starting, it's just $1.99 right now. <laughs> um, I only have one tier of memberships right now, but it gets you these cute emotes, um, and you get the sub badge. So the sub badge starts at the little, uh, the little leaf, and then they grow over time, um, and become more magical as time goes on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, these, uh, these, uh, emotes, and sub badges were made by a very good friend of mine, Little Dark TV. Um, and you can get, uh, you can actually, if you want emotes for your own channel or you know another creator that is looking for somebody that can make stuff like this, um, I do recommend contacting Little Dark. They were very professional and super helpful. And um, when I gave them the idea, they were, uh, they were really great at like just producing exactly what I wanted. And, uh, and checking in with me during the creative process too, to like, make sure that like the direction that they were going with was like what I, what I was looking for. So I was really happy with the results. Um, but yeah, so, uh, though that is available. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, like, uh, it's never, uh, these, these things are not, uh, <laughs> not required, but just things that, uh, are available if you choose to do so. So let's get back to the game. Um, yeah, I was, I was like, so, so happy with the, um, with the emotes when I saw them, I was so, like, so excited about them. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, let's bring the game back up. Yeah, I realized, like, towards the end of the last stream, um, I had turned on 
the memberships, but I had not like set any channel alerts. And then I was like, oh no, I have to do that. <laughs> I really like, I have to take some time to do that. Um, Cause I was like, it would be, I would feel so bad. Like if somebody, um, if, if somebody like joined the memberships and then there was like no alert on the screen, <laughs> cause I feel like that's like part of the perk of like joining a channel membership. Is that happening? <laughs> But yeah, I got the alerts up. I think um, I have to make like a little, uh, like some kind of a custom graphic for them. Oh no. Um, I'm not really sure. The, uh, the background I actually got, uh, the background for my stream I got from, uh, from Etsy. Um, there's a, I got the, I got the model and I got the background from Etsy. Um, I wanted to get something that I could grow with and because um, I, I wasn't like completely sure like what I would want to do for a fully custom model and um, so I decided like I'll just get one that it's already made and this one came with like a bunch of customizations so I could like it kind of make it I guess my own um, but I like the chibi style of it because I like the the chibi style artwork it just like looks so like it looks so happy and so cute um yeah like a gif alert yeah yeah so i have the streamlabs um alerts set up but it's like the default graphic that comes with it um and so i want i i do want to make something that is like custom for that um but yeah, like there will be a, like a Streamlabs alert that goes off um, if somebody, uh, like if somebody subscribes or um, if, uh, if there's like a, a membership or, um, or like a super chat, like those do, those will go off now, but they're, they're like the default graphic on them. Um, so I have to, I have to work like on that. I, I don't have an idea for it yet though, so I'm not really sure what I should do. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas on what we should do for uh, for like a graphic for those, um, I could probably even like just pull in some kind of meme like GIF from the internet. We could use something like that too. Um, I don't know. I do have a. Uh, I could do something with the channel, the channel logo too, because I have a, I do have the ability to like, kind of add a little bit of animation to that. Um, I made, uh, I made the channel logo in a pixel art program called Pixar, Pixaki, um, and it will let you like, add frames, and little animation, and then you can like export it as a GIF. Okay, everything looks good here. Let's uh let's start a new mission. Um I guess we'll continue to work on this one. Oh, this will give us another pet. We already have one pet that we don't have like even attached to anybody. <laughs> um I want one that'll give us like a fun character. But I guess none of these are really going to do that. So. This one has a blueprint in it too. Oh, that says like level 12 though. I don't know if we have anything that is quite that robust. Oh man, I forgot. I haven't even been checking on these to see like what level they are. Maybe we should do some of the easier ones. Cause our guys, let's see, 
he's level nine. Carl's level nine. Uh, oh, I hear the stranger. Where are you? Um, Billy is level 11. Where's Bruce? Oh, Bruce is level 16. Wow. Bruce is kind of a badass. Uh, if you don't want any new dwellers, you can stop the radio studio from calling out. It will still broadcast in the vault and boost happiness. Okay. Uh, I would like that to bring new people, though. So, all right. Okay, so let's do... Okay, yeah, these are all, like, for... This one's a level five. These are, this would probably be like really easy to do. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do like, I guess we'll do more. <laughs> um, we'll do 12 and 12, okay. So let's take our people, Billy. Bruce and Coral. And we'll go ahead and start now. Do -do 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 -do. We'll do a couple of these like easier ones. We don't have a whole lot of time left this morning. Um, I got about like 15 ish minutes left, so I think we have time to do another mission. Um, and then we might, uh, depending on how long this takes, I might have to call it a day after that. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we'll get through this one pretty quick. <laughs> bugs. Easy peasy. Cruising along. More bugs. <laughs> oh. These are our first mole rats. <laughs> <laughs> They're so meaty looking. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I like animated chicken cutlets. This mission's like super easy compared to the last one we were doing. <laughs> nice. More stem packs. More stem packs. Wow.
Yeah. Yeah, some of these guys got like new guns. And then also too, they're like higher level. Like this mission is for level five and these guys are all like level nine and above. Yes, this, uh, this one's a little bit easier for us. Yeah, we're just like cruising through this. Exterminate, exterminate. Nice. This gave us so much stim packs. for helping us with our infestation problem. Yeah, we totally did. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, our people have been running uh, off on quest and... Oh, I didn't get to read all that. No one's left to keep the joint clean. <laughs> that happens. Uh, how did you get a hold of the copy of the bungle? The buggle? Uh, so you get in the buggle by kicking butt and taking names? Um, hmm. Let's try that. That's right. We're heading out to hunt some raiders. Uh, okay. I, it keeps, like, passing by too quickly before I can read it. <laughs> um, okay. Let's loot the room. More stem packs. Wow. Oh, fancy. Alright, a new weapon. That's it for this. Turn to the vault. Okay. Nice. Alright, that was pretty easy. Uh, they're gonna be back in two hours. I think we'll let them we'll let them marinate. So, okay, so for, I think we're going to need plenty of stem packs on hand, so let's go ahead and we'll beef this up. I think it's, oh no, we're not quite there yet. Um, I feel like beefing stem packs up will be good. Um, we could send someone out into the wilds, like, while we're, like, while we're, like, overnight. Uh, what episode am I in in Fallout? I am still only on the second episode, so I've been wanting to watch them, like, with my son. And, um, he streams too, and, uh... He's, he's, he's an adult, his job things. Uh, so he has, he has obligations as well. So uh, us coming together at the exact same time to watch it um, has been like, we kind of have to like plan that out. Uh, so I haven't watched like nearly as much of it as I wanted to. I think the first two episodes were so good though. Um, and I really, really enjoyed them. So we have uh, plans for Monday is going to be our fallout binge watching some episode days so that is that is like the plan for monday um so i will probably i'll probably stream monday morning and then um but in like the afternoon evening time of that day like i'll be watching more episodes and like trying to get like caught up with it yeah um but yeah it's been really hard to like not like watch an episode without him <laughs> and uh 
But yeah, uh, we don't usually watch like shows together. Um, and that one was one that like we both enjoyed. And uh, and so I, I do want to like, I, I don't want to go ahead on it. <laughs> so I'm trying to, I'm trying to wait and be patient. So yeah, um, Monday, uh, Monday, we can talk more. We can definitely talk about things that are happened in the first two episodes. Um, but I, I, I kind of like, don't want to give since the show is so new still i don't really want to give uh spoilers to anybody that like maybe hasn't watched it or is like maybe thinking about watching it um i thought it was super super good um i think it's one of like i think one of like the best like video game adaptations that i i've ever seen i think they did like an outstanding job with the costume design and set design um the casting the music like all of those things like were they i think they did everything like very spot on and it was so like the way that uh the the first like two episodes have spent time like uh you know just on like introducing characters um but like every time they introduce a new character like i'm excited for it i've invested i'm like ready to see like what everybody's gonna do um Good your son is an adult because uh, there are some wild episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I. <laughs> it would be really awkward, I feel like, to watch with him if he was like a little kid. Um, <laughs> I don't I don't think it's a show for first like little kids. Um, it's a. Uh, yeah, it definitely like has some mature, mature themes in it. So, yeah, <laughs> parental discretion advised. <laughs> um yeah, um, I I haven't watched the boys, but my son has, and I and he said that that series was like super good, but I I just never like actually got into that one, but um I I kind of want to now because um I've heard that they're like, uh, like kind of like that a similar feel if that makes sense, um so yeah it is making me want to go back and like check that one because it's the boys has come up on a lot of things that I've seen about Fallout when they're comparing it to like other series that were like adapted really well. Um, that That's another one that comes up for a lot of people and it's one that I actually haven't seen yet. Um, so yeah, maybe, uh, maybe when Fallout uh, runs out and I'm like, mm, what to watch next? <laughs> we'll like go back and revisit the boys. Um... Yeah, we're almost at time. I um I don't have like very much more time left. So let's send uh let's some send someone out into the wilds. Um, uh, which one of these guys? Let's see. This guy's got a baseball bat. Let's equip him with the cat. And we'll send him out into the wild. And hopefully, uh, we'll give him a couple stem packs. We have hardly any stem packs now. That's fine. So we'll send him out. And, uh, is he going out? Sir? Uh, oh, explore. Um, yeah, so maybe, maybe he'll have something for us when we come back. Uh, the Walking Dead I have watched. Um, I watched up until, um, what was the, I don't know what the series or the, uh, the season was that, like, Negan was introduced, but I had a hard time watching after that season because I feel like the, the stuff with Negan, like, really dragged on for me, and he was just, like... I was like kind of a lot <laughs> um, where he just like kept on and kept on and kept on. And I'm like, okay, something needs to move forward with this. Cause I'm about done. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I thought Negan was pretty cool, like as a character, but that like that season just was like, it, it was just so, so, so drug out. Uh, I like, that's about when I fell off of it. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. I'm gonna quit this game before like we have raiders show up. Um.
And uh, we will play some more of that tomorrow. Um, oh, 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 wait. We should probably make a, let's make a thumbnail for the next, um, for the next one or for the tomorrow stream. So this is going to be, we're at part five now, right? Let's do this. Oop. And move that over here. Make it a little bigger. Really, I don't know about the color of this. Uh, let's make it like a really dark blue. Sure. Is that all right? How does that look? Part five. Part five. It looks kind of grainy. Why does it look like that? Here, let's make the size more okay. Is that better? Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay. I've been trying to make a thumbnail like at the end of every <laughs> of every stream um, so that I have something for the next one. Okay, so we're going to do this and this and pose. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, good, good. Saved. Cool, cool. All right. Um, I think that will do it for today. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you did, um, please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already that super super helps me out and also it allows you to get notifications on when i go live again um and i will see you tomorrow same time uh that'll be 10 a.m central time <laughs> we will stream from uh we'll stream for two hours tomorrow as well uh right here for returning for fallout shelter part five <laughs> um i um i hope everybody has a really awesome day and um or or evening um <laughs> some of you are in the evening time zones ish <laughs> um but yeah i'm i'm really glad that uh to see all of you I'm happy to see some returning faces in this stream um that, that makes me happy uh, just to see like, see you guys returning and then also seeing some new faces today. Very awesome. Um, I, uh, I hope you guys are all well and I will see you again uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.